Hi everybody, this is Joy. Um, and there was a couple things I wanted to kind of stress, and that is, I've watched a lot of videos about people who worked a nine to five job and hated it. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I worked well something similar, but I worked in a bunch of restaurants over my life. I worked in the service industry most of my life, so I find that food delivery is kind of fun, but it's not really what I wanted to do. I so working in the food service industry sucked. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that, um, you know, you couldn't set your own schedule. You had to work when they wanted you to work. Um, you had to work weekends a lot of times. You had to work long hours. And you're lucky if you got paid, you know, good money for the amount of hours you were working. So my last job, a full-time job, now I left a almost 45 to 50 hour a week job working like 5 a.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Job at McDonald's that I worked for about almost three, three and a half years. And it was hard work. And I had to do breakfast, I had to do lunch. And in between there, during that three years I worked for McDonald's, I moved from one town to another. You know, I bought a home up here and transferred to this McDonald's. So the thing is, is I didn't mind the job. It was the fact that we had managers that just treated you cra like crappy. You knew one, you were trained one way in one restaurant. You go to another restaurant and they want you to do totally different things. One was stricter than the other as far as managers, so on and so forth. And it was very difficult because I had this manager who proceeded to tell me how to do my job. Proceeded to tell me not to give them excuses when I sent out the right food and they sent out the wrong food to the customer. And then expected me to remake the food and to put me behind. And I got really frustrated with it. And, you know, it was like, either don't give me a lip and just do what I asked. So, one day, he had to fill in. This specific, specific manager had to fill in for one of the cooks who didn't show up. Or was on vacation or sick or something like that. And he had to work with me. So... It was quite interesting because I was like, hmm, really? So when he started giving the manager uh, a piece of his mind because he made enough nuggets, sent them out, and they said, I need one of those nuggets. And he goes, I just did it. And they're like, you need another one. I said, just shut up and give them what they want. He did not say a word to me. I said, now you know how it feels. You know, sometimes people don't realize that they need to treat you like they want to be treated. And a lot of times people don't realize that the golden rule affects everybody. You should treat people the way you want to be treated. Not what you want them to do. If you want them to be polite to you, you need to be polite to them. It goes both ways. What I like about YouTube is that I can do this video and a lot of people just won't watch it. And I don't know why they're not watching my videos. But they're not. Maybe they don't care about my life uh, experiences. Maybe they don't care about my lifestyle maybe they don't care maybe i'm boring i don't know i've never thought it was boring but i was just thinking that you know people are saying i left my nine to five monotonous job to be a content creator on youtube great fine and dandy make sure you're making money on youtube before you do that so that's another thing is make sure that you plan ahead of time and so that was the difficulty. So the reason why I left McDonald's was, well, first of all, I couldn't take the stress anymore. It was driving me nuts. I get home and I was exhausted. 
I get home and I was miserable. And I was treated like crap by this particular manager. And I didn't deserve it. You know, I worked really, really hard. And all the food came out. And I was within timing. Everything was done right. Everything was done sanita sanitation-wise and everything. And he used to tell me, well, you know, you're back there. You should correct your co-workers if they're making a sanitation mistake. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, you have the manager's uniform. And, you know, I had to train my co-workers, myself, <laughs> on how to do things. So I wasn't too happy. But you know what? That's done. That's over with. And that's the past. I have a lot of other um, job experiences that I can share with you guys. And I think a lot of people over 50 will have a lot of job experiences. So those of you that are over 50 or even 40 and just want to share your experiences, want to share your wealth, want to um, share your expertise on different things, then opening a channel might be really good for you. I'm just letting you know that I did leave my 9 to 5 job, if you want to call it that, on my 5 to 2 job to work for DoorDash. But I always had, I always had my YouTube channel open. I just did not do any posting for a long time. And I think it's because I just didn't have the time. And I really didn't know what I wanted to do. But now um, the video trends have changed a little. With DoDash and um, a couple other people out there. They do more personal videos like this in the car. That talk about different topics. So I'm just letting you guys know. That if you are over 40. And you want a different. Um, a different lifestyle. Then I say open up a YouTube channel. Go ahead. You can do it. Think positive. Not negative. Never listen to what the devil says. Never listen to what the devil says to you. You're not good enough. He's going to say, you're not good enough. You're crazy for opening a YouTube channel. You don't have the personality for that. You're going to listen to all those accusations and all those negatives. And if you do, you're missing out. So I would say, devil, get the hell out of my mind. Get out of my life. Everything. Leave me alone and leave. Because I'm going to do what? God wants. Also, be very careful that when you do open a YouTube channel, please pray about it and see if God really wants you to do it. It is a big, and very, a very big responsibility as far as being consistent, posting, always thinking about that. And remember to keep posting and never give up because the minute you give up, you're letting the devil get away with it. So keep posting. Don't give up. And stay true to yourself. And you should be good. God bless y'all. Bye.